What's up guys, welcome to How Much YouTube channel. Today we're gonna unbox the Ayurus 15 inch laptop with a 3080 GPU in there. Subscribe. I'm getting really desperate with no GPUs. So we're gonna mine on this, <laughs> but I'm not recommending it. There's just no GPUs anywhere. And if you look on Amazon everywhere, it's like almost two grand to buy it. And this one actually cost me two grand. So why not just get a laptop with a GPU? Whoa, that's a nice case. Nice that's packaging. The, that's the whole laptop? That's it. It's so small. It's tiny, right? With a 30, whoa, this is light. That's crazy. Okay, before we continue, this is my current laptop, okay? It's an Alienware 17R. I bought it a couple of years ago for two grand. It has a 1080 in there and I'm still mining on it. It actually make about $2.50 right now per day. But this laptop is not very good for, for like traveling and I do travel and I want to edit videos and stuff and play video games and I can't do it. Look how big this is. But I'll get as much as I can for it and then we'll upgrade, why not? Big. Oh my God, this is, this is so light. I'm not used to this, this is so light. Wow, this is so small. Oh, wow, look at how many vents there are. Holy crap. Oh wow, look, the whole thing is a vent in the back. Yeah, the sides have it and in the back too. So there's plenty of, uh, of fans. This is like a plastic build, so the whole thing is plastic, which makes it light. So there's a full-size Ethernet uh, cable right here. There's also a combo of, of audio and microphone for your headset when you're gaming. There's a USB 3.0, mini display port, and a full HDMI. I think this HDMI is 2.0. It's not the new one, but I, I'm happy it has, I'm happy it has a 3080. That's what I care about, really. On the other side, we also have two more USB. There's also a USB, I don't think it's a Thunderbolt. Very important for you, the micro SD slot. Oh my God, this. Or is that full size? It, this is an SD card reader, finally, finally. The Alienware didn't have one. It was so freaking annoying. Who buys Alienware? You know, YouTubers. You're very passionate shit. about this one here. Yeah, man, it was upset, dude. Oh, well, they even have a full size number yeah, so, keypad, number pad. So the screen is actually 240 hertz, which is amazing. It's an HD display. It's the Whoa. i7 10870H, which has double the amount of cores out of my Alienware. I'm comparing it to my Alienware because that was my main travel laptop. It also comes with a one terabyte of NVMe memory, which is fast. It's nice to already have it in there. I don't have to upgrade. It's 32 gigs of RAM. Pretty much everything you need. Yeah, sorry, I'm looking, I'm looking to see how many watts this brick is. They said here, 230 watts. Holy 30, 30, yeah, so 200, oh, this is small. So of course, the first thing we're gonna do is mine on it. Sorry, gamers. That's what this channel is about. Making money. Yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah, so I spent two grand. I hope I'll get that back in a few months by mining. That's, that's why I got it. It's also a nice upgrade for my Alienware. Wow, look at this LED. That's so bright. I mean, I had LED before, like RGB lights on, on keyboards, but this one is so bright. Wow, it's amazing. We'll do some gaming at the end after we mine. Mining first. Okay guys, the computer is ready to go and you can see it right there. I'm actually remote accessing it using Chrome remote access. It's just so much easier to do it that way because I have my microphone on my setup. So the first thing we're gonna do is install NiceHash. I will try other miners and you've been asking me to try to mine Ethereum directly. But to be honest, this is the easiest way ever. I just love it how it can mine whatever coin is more valuable at the moment and then uh, it gives me Bitcoin, because that's what I want, I want Bitcoin. I don't really care about the other coins. I'm gonna download the newest one, and I'm gonna go and download the installer. And I'm gonna go ahead and install it and set it up on the computer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and now scan this with my phone. I have the NiceHash app installed with two-factor authentication to make it a little safer, and all I have to do now is just scan it. You can see the live view of my phone as well. So in your NiceHash, once you register to NiceHash, you will have this little QR code button and you can click on scan. So now I can go ahead and scan it. And basically now this rig is added to my phone and I can do a bunch of cool stuff. For example, um, you can see I have a 1080 rig here. I can click on it and see how much I make per day, $2.46 on my 1080. But I can do a lot of other things. I can set notifications so then if the rig becomes unavailable or if there is a, any error happening, um, it will just let me know right away. And this is really cool. I can do this to all the miners I have. I'm gonna be able to see them live and control them remotely and know if they're alive or not or what's going on. And that's always nice to know if the computer turns off for whatever reason, 
you will know and you can restart it so you can continue making money. Okay, so I scanned it, confirmed scan, and now I think everything else is ready to go. Now it takes a little bit of a while to do the benchmarking, okay? The nice hash will try every single miner available, every single software, every single coin to test what your card can do. Now it's time to click the play. So yeah, now it's gonna benchmark. I'm gonna fast forward this part until it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this rig to a 3080 so then I know which one is which. So you can see here I have the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3080 laptop and we also have the Intel i7-10870H. Mining on the CPU, I would not recommend that doing with the GPU and the CPU together in this kind of mining rig because you know, you're only making 20-30 sets extra per day. Just mining on the 3080 is enough. Few minutes later. We got the 3080 laptop to mine finally. It's pretty quiet, it's not very loud at all. It's one of the quietest laptops I've ever owned, actually. So that's a, that's good news. That means, you know, you can have it around in your office, maybe not next to your bed where you sleep. Now, the Amati makes changes every day, so this number will definitely be different even minutes from now. But uh, right now, it's $5.14 per day, and I've seen it jump from $5 up to $10 a day. So it really changes, but that's pretty much the lowest I've seen it so far. So $5.14 per day times 30, that's $154 per month. Now, I paid $2,000 for this laptop and then after taxes about $2,200 divided by $154 per month. In only 14 months, I'll pay this laptop back just for mining from uh, cryptocurrency, getting Bitcoin out of it, and then I'll have a free laptop and continuing making $150 per day. Now, obviously, this price will change. Bitcoin price changes, the algorithm change, everything changes. So this number is not like a fixed number. This will change up or down. And yes, we're not mining actual Bitcoin. We're mining other coins, nice hash for a fee, convert it to Bitcoin and then give it to us. So there's definitely a fee involved in using NiceHash comparing to mining it yourself, but in return, you don't have to work um, and there is a great uh, notification system. So it tells you when your rig is off. So that's why I don't mind getting that five or 10% less money. And then I'll have all those features. I don't have to worry about it. And nice hashtag care of everything. So yes, you can make more money uh, mining specific coins yourself, but I just like the nice hash platform. Another feature I really like in nice hash is that the fact that you can actually withdraw your Bitcoins directly to your Coinbase account with no fee on the blockchain. So that transfer saves you sometimes $20. Uh, it really depends on how much the Bitcoin transaction fee costs at the time, but it can be very expensive to move Bitcoin uh, one place to another. Let's say you mine $100 for this couple of weeks and you wanna move that to your, to your Bitcoin address, it will cost you five, 10, $15 uh, for the fee for the miners, the transaction fee. So if you use that feature from NiceHash to send it directly to your Coinbase account, there is no fee and you know that it's not gonna go anywhere random, you know it's gonna go to your Coinbase account. So I approve that, that's another reason why I like NiceHash. But now it's time to try to mine Ethereum directly. So we're gonna go online and download the latest miner. I'll check which miner is the best, which software is the best for the 3080. So give me a minute here and we're gonna install it right now. All right, so I ran the Claymore mining algorithm and we are mining at 45 mega hashes per second speed on the 3080. Now, if we put 45.8 mega hashes on the calculator here with the current price of 1,800 bucks per Ethereum, we are making $157.38. Per month it's three dollars more <laughs> per month comparing to nice hash now if those numbers matter to you then sure you can go ahead and mine using ethereum miner and you will get ethereum back you can use a pool you register to any pool pretty much uh, you, you just google ethereum pool and you register and you give them the ethereum address and you'll get paid in ethereum if that's what you want i personally want bitcoin so nice hash here we go now we must check how much power are we consuming uh, because power costs money for some people and we want to know how much we're consuming so then how much money we get back uh, because when you consume power it increases your bill your electricity bill goes up 
uh, with it. So let's go ahead while it's mining with nice hash. I'm gonna go ahead and calculate how much power we are drawing from the wall uh, running nice hash. Let's go. We are mining with nice hash on this laptop five dollars and twenty two cents. I love this keyboard, very nice. But let's see how much power are we consuming. Well, the screen is on. We are consuming about 160, 150 watts. I'll wait for the screen to turn off because that's mostly when we're gonna mine anyways. And I'll try to shut off the LED on the keyboard to make a difference here and see if I can draw less power. Let's go. The screen is off, the keyboard is off, there, and there is nothing in the USB connected. And we're pulling 140 watts. That's actually extremely efficient for $5 a day. Pretty impressive. You can probably cannot get it anywhere unless you actually have a 3080 or a 3090 that you under voltage a lot to get to those numbers. So for the number, it's extremely impressive. All right, guys, so let's go to the calculator and calculate how much money are we gonna make per month? So I put in 45.8 hashes, uh, mega hashes. That's how much we're gonna get from this laptop, uh, the 3080 mobile version, and that comes up to $135 per month. When we calculate 145 watt, which is very very low, extremely efficient, and 20 cents per kilowatt hours, and 1% pool fee. Now, a uh, nice hash might be a little bit smaller number than this, but still, this is pretty impressive. I'm actually super impressed for how efficient that is. 145 watts is nothing. It literally only costs 20 bucks per month to run this thing full force 24-7 for a month. That's a very low number, and it really depends on how much you pay in your city or whatever. You can look at your bill and calculate how much kilowatt hours you pay, and if it's half of that, then it's like 10 bucks. It's a very small amount of power. Unfortunately, though, you can definitely tell that this is underclocked version of the 3080 because the original 3080 can do double that mega hash if you get a full size one. So it's getting like a half of a 3080, which is a little bit unfortunate and show you that the two grand that you pay, you're not actually getting a full size 3080. I had a feeling maybe I'll get one that's 20-30% less power, but this one is about 50% less power. So it's a little bit disappointing, but still very impressive and very efficient. So the cost of running it will be very, very low. And it's a mobile, it's so small, you can take it anywhere and you, I can also use it for editing videos and so forth. So for me, it's a great upgrade, but to make money off of it, eh, maybe you're also risking your motherboard to burn and uh, I don't know how long this whole thing will last running 24-7. It's, I don't know, something will break, you know. Now let's try to overclock it. I managed to run MSI Afterburner. Do not try this. I might literally burn this guy right now to the ground. But I'm gonna go slowly and increase the, uh, the, the memory speed a little bit. And I'm gonna increase the core speed a little bit. And then go a little by little until the crash. And then we go a little bit lower than that. And then we'll see. So let's see if that's gonna work. Oh boy. Yeah, the overclock definitely worked. So we are mining $7.74. I saw at least 10% more power, at least 10% more. I actually got up to 50 mega hashes on Ethereum. So this is my settings I got to this laptop. It's 330 mega hashes extra on the core and 700 extra mega hashes on the memory clock. More than that, and I got crashes. Either the memory failed or the whole mining failed. So this is the most I can do. And what I can do is actually uh, save it. So there's a saving feature on the MSI Afterburner. I wish they had the Azure software to do the overclocking. Uh, it'll probably do a little bit better job, but it's not available yet, even though it's, it is an Aorus laptop. It's brand new still. I don't think they made the software yet. I'm playing Overwatch right now. Oh, wow. And we're getting 220, 210 FPS. Crazy. The Aorus 15G is an amazing, powerful laptop for gaming and mining. But again, do not mine on your laptop. This is my Alienware in my original box and this is gonna be sold for parts because I just burnt my second motherboard mining on this Alienware 17R and the 1080. Not recommended. I don't know if they made it better this time. Maybe they have a better temperature control over the capacitors because I, when I opened the motherboard I saw the capacitors uh, got screwed up. 
from the mining. I think just because they got overheated, they might be not good sitting, sitting on the heat sink. So maybe they got better nowadays with the better capacitors and uh, better cooling units. They might survive longer. But as you can see, do not mine on your laptop. I'm an exception. I'm doing this for science. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe because one of my videos coming up will be a huge mining rig with very powerful GPUs. I can't wait to show you guys, but it's a work in progress. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.